Hello, this is Ted McFall from McFall Bee Yard. Today I want to show you a bee vac. Uh, bee vacs are important to beekeepers whenever they're doing things like cutouts, which is whenever a bee swarm enters a, an, an attic or a wall, um, could be of a house or of a barn or somewhere where they shouldn't be, and the beekeeper has to cut open a part of the wall and, and expose the, uh, the comb and suck out the bees. And of course the bees want to try to save the bees. We, we don't, the beekeeper tries to save the bees. We don't want to hurt the bees. Um, because they're, they're still uh, a very valuable thing to, uh, to beekeepers and, and to society in general. And so, um, not only situations like that, but also if you have a bunch of honey supers in your garage or in your honey hut or wherever you're extracting, a lot of times there's still bees flying around that made it back home with you. And so, using a bee vac, you can still save those bees. Uh, this type of a uh, bee vac is actually a uh, robo vac. Um, there's different types, some use a five gallon bucket. Uh, but this is like a, uh, a homemade sort. They're not too difficult to, to home make if, if you're up to it. They're pretty simple. Um, but you have to use the motor of a shop vac. So you can't just use a shop vac. I've heard of uh, local people just trying to suction up bees using a regular shop vac. Well, you're going to kill your bees. You're going to find out real quick that that does not work. You have to create, a, create or buy a, a uh, bee vac. And so it's pretty simple to make your own if you want. Uh, you want to try to use something that, that's strong enough. So this is a pretty big uh, horsepower, this 6.5. This is just a craftsman uh, kind. And, uh, and you disconnect the, uh, the motor part. So there's the motor part. And you're going to put it on top of your, um, on top of your uh, bee vac with a hole that you cut out. So we cut this hole out. And it has to, has to match whatever uh, size uh, shop vac motor you use. So you drop that in. And then you come back to your shop bag and you take off the uh, the hose, and we have a hole in here. And you open that up, and you put that in here. So your bee vac, you're going to suction with this end. The bees will go inside the hive. Now it's important to note that uh, this one happens to be choked down, and uh, actually you wedge it in there a little better than that. But this one happens to be choked down. Uh, and the more you choke it down, the stronger the suction is going to be. And so you have to make sure that uh, you're not su suctioning too hard on the bees. Uh, if it's too hard, you, you can open it up and get a wider suction if you prefer. We like it choked down like this. Um, and it's important to note that if your suction is too strong, we have this that we can crack this open. And this lets uh, some of the air come in from the, the top here to lessen the suctioning of the hose. Now, in our case, there's enough cracks, and uh, this is not very airtight, and so there's enough uh, air leaks in here that we don't, we really never even open this. We just leave this closed, and it and it's a, it's about perfect. The suction on it is about perfect. We we don't kill the bees, but it's strong enough to pull the bees in. And so, um, I'll show you what's inside here. So there's our our motor, of course. Uh, inside it, this is just a, a box with a frame on it. Uh, uh, the uh, the wire on it is a uh, number eight hardware cloth, and uh, that keeps the bees from from getting out. Also, we have a shim here with the wire. This is uh, optional. You don't have to have this, but um, I'll, I'll show you why it can be helpful. Uh, and inside it, we have frames. Now, you can use a a deep box. You can use a medium box. You can use whatever you have there. That's fine. Uh, in this case, we we use a medium one because it's just easier to carry it around. It's less big and bulky. Um, it's, it's best if you have drawn out frame, uh, drawn out uh, comb on the frames. If you don't, uh, just the foundation is fine, but you need somewhere where the bees can hold on and, uh, and, and walk around on while they're in here. And then below that is where the bees come in. So the bees get sucked, they come in here, and then they, uh, they walk around and they'll end up crawling up into the, uh, into the frames. And keep in mind that the suction is also coming from the top which also kind of encourages the bees to go up into the frames. And so, um, uh, the suction, of course, will be coming from here, from the vacuum part, but it will be, uh, it'll be spread out amongst, you know, the suction will be spread out amongst the entire of the, uh, the screen. So, once the bees are inside there, it's not going to be like too, too hard or heavy on any one area of the bees. And so what happens is, you uh, you suction the bees and, and you strap it down. Like if you look uh, over here, we put these little these little conduit clamps here 
to make it so you you keep everything together because the last thing you want is this thing cracking open and then you're gonna have bees escaping and have it have a big mess so you, you tighten your strap and you keep everything together just as one big piece and that is awfully helpful so so you suction whenever you're done suctioning you're gonna have a bunch of bees in here so at this point is when you can take it apart you can take the, the motor off um, you can take this part off and then your the bees are still trapped in here because of this number eight hardware work cloth if you don't use a shim this is optional like I said you don't you can get away with not using it but if you don't use it and you just have this on it you're gonna have to keep this on it of course to keep the bees in it with that wire down here now um, whenever you get back to your uh, to your apiary where you have your bees you can uh, uh, just spray uh, spray sugar water on, on the, your bees to try to uh, get as many of them wet as you can to keep them from flying And then you can just take them and, and either dump them in a hive or you can actually use this as a hive Just uh, have your bottom board ready place this on a bottom board um, Put a inner cover outer cover or just a migratory lid depending on what what you use um, And so uh, so anyway it uh, it works pretty uh, it works pretty good uh, if you use if you use this one um, you want to uh, try to, uh, you know, you, you can also uh, strap all this down too. And uh, so that is the, uh, the, robo, the robo style of, uh, of a BVAC. It works pretty good and I uh, and, uh, hope you liked it. Ted McFall from McFall B Yard.